Hello everybody, so this is a new video, <coughs> sorry if it sounds weird, my, uh, I'm recovering from a cough. Alright, so, um, well, I'm surprised so many people saw the last video, so first of all, thank you, thank you so much, that is fucking crazy. Um, second of all, um, the topic of this video, before I'm gonna go on rambling, um, thank you for the feedback, um, the topic of this video will be the event that's going on right now, the one that has to do with the collab, um, the Shield Heroes, uh, this one, uh, these guys and everybody. Um, I tried to lower the settings for the voicing, so hopefully there's no issues, but, um, let's see if this works. So, basically there's, uh, these characters in there, um, is it worth drawing for them, in my opinion? Yeah, go for it if you're brand new. Um, I've listened to some other YouTubers and I've kind of seen and played with the units myself. They're pretty cool. They're pretty fun. Um, one of the things that surprised me a lot, because I'm kind of returning to this game, um, they they practically give you the free weapons. I can write it in the like on the title that this can be a tutorial for that really quickly because I haven't done it on this account. I did it on a couple other ones. They give you their, um, their, their holy relic, or holy weapons, really easily, right off of the bat. Like, check it out. So, this is, uh, my Luis account, um, it has Mel, um, Gother, and, um, Hell. So, let's see, focus, 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 guide to get the holy weapon, and thoughts on this, uh, event. Uh, if you're a new player, go for it. If you're an old player and you're free to play, don't go for it if you don't need it. And then if you're a whale, do whatever the fuck you want. There, that ends that. Alright, focusing. So, um, this is a new unit. So, see, one of the best things... Dude, they have a free unlock on the, uh, unique. I just unlocked it. <laughs> this shit's broken. Alright, um, increase crit defense of unknown allies by 6% one turn at the start of the battle. At the start of the other's turns, applies the Queen's Authority on unknown allies for two turns, then at once, and increases all status of the hero by 5% for each unknown allies for two turns battle, and this is out by 50% using Gale. Alright, so, but what I understand, this is more powerful the more, um, uh, people that there is. Oh, fuck, there's so much. Okay. Alright. So, in addition, the hero's damage still increases by 50% when using Gale, when... And let's, fuck it, let's add in, uh, a combination for a showcase of, uh, this one. Field Loria when you're low level. There, fuck. I'll add a, it's gonna be a long title. Anyways, uh, sorry if I'm snarky. I'm, I'm just an asshole. Sorry to realize. Anyways, uh, when an unknown ally races, uses a skill to do. I need to be nicer. Uh, damage to the enemy during the ally's turn. The hero gains sharp talents effects equals to the number of the enemies who took crit damage. The hero has maxed out the stack of sharp talents at the start of the ally's turn. They are removed, and the hero gains a clean strike for two turns. The queen's authority. That's really good. That's shit. Right off the bat, huh? Wait, that's fucking broken because that's that's essentially a mini float. Hero's damage still increases by 0.03%. Per oh, that's a damn, that's really nice. There was a meme where it was like everybody showcasing, like, um, what do you call it? I was, I was scrolling through Reddit, there was a meme where it was like everybody's um, showcasing, like, the new collab units when they're making a video. Everybody, like, and then it shows, uh, na uh, the Nagato, or Nag, it just shows him, uh, what do you call it, doing the, uh, a showcase on Mel's holy weapon, and I'm thinking, I need to watch that. Anyways, uh, focusing, focusing, alright, the Queen's Authority removes Evos and increases, uh, crit chance by plus 50%, the hero's damage don't increases by 0.05%, yeah, that's a mini flood, that's what I'm thinking. Sharp talents, the hero ignores the percent of the crit target version crit resistance. That's pretty good, sharp talents, because it increases the amount. I don't know if that increases the damage, though. And then Queen Shrike damage, though, plus 50% crit damage. Okay, so this is really nice, because she gets supported by the Holy Relic. And I'm telling you, the Holy Relic is practically free, so let's go do that now. 
So we're going to awaken her. If we have it, we don't have anything. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go. We're going to do challenge task. We're going to collect this. I swear to God, the the worst thing about doing another account is just fucking having to go through all of the story to unlock all the good stuff. I, I it's so frustrating. Okay, focus. What was I doing? I'm going to the shield hero. Okay, draw here two times. Oh yeah, you're gonna get another um uh what do you call it? Another unit if you do this. So. It's really nice, so, just saying. It's pretty easy to complete. We can do it right now. Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna do this now. All right, let's see. Use the special event uh, 20 times during the event period. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, so for this one you need to do 20, so it's pretty easy. What you gotta do is go to your mailbox, and then go ahead and collect the rewards that are coming in. Collect this. I know I'm supposed to go to the box, but I want to do this now. Collect this. So let's see, collect this. Trying to go like this. And then we need to fulfill this one, the spin, the spinny thingy. So spin right here. You spin. That's how you did five. Gonna skip this, you get the stuff. I like getting the uh, anvils, they're pretty useful. I need to remember to sell the um, chest because this is this uh, next bit's gonna get pretty expensive. Oh no, I have enough money, I don't have to worry. Okay, um, actually, can I pull this off right now? I probably can't. Okay, so just do the tower trials, so it's gonna be faster if anything. I'll do the boss uh, later. Uh, so I'm gonna do auto set because I really don't want to think about that right now. Alrighty, we got that. We're gonna switch him out. We're gonna put that in. So we're gonna put uh, Nails right there. He's pretty good. I like her. I like him. Who do I need to put in there? I need to put in him for that extra crit damage. That's high enough CC. There's no problem. Oh, shit, it's gonna die. Where's the charger? No, I'm recording. Please, I need this. I have to tell my therapist I did something productive. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. Alrighty, let's do this. So, alright, let's take this tower down. This is to get the holy weapon for the unit that I was um, showing earlier. I'm gonna upgrade her but a little bit. I wanna get the holy weapon before I upgrade her to uh, UR. Uh, I'm gonna put this on. No, I'm gonna do this. Uh, not. not. Alrighty, this looks good. She's so good. I'm planning on using her along with the, um, I'm planning to switch out male out of this team and put in the unit for the, uh, that's gonna receive the holy weapon right now. But yeah, I was saying, the, the holy weapon, that's what surprises me so much about these units. They give you the holy weapons for free. I think that's kind of crazy. Because you really have to work really, really hard to get the holy weapons for, like, some of the other characters. I haven't gotten an holy weapon for male, um, or hell, um, well, they haven't released it. But I haven't gotten the holy weapon for, um, this guy. I'm planning on getting it. I haven't gotten a holy weapon for anybody else other than her. And even then, I missed my opportunity to get her holy weapon because I opened this account a little bit too late to get the materials. So getting free holy weapons is fucking sick as a Neo Kill. Look, these guys are not amazing. At least from what I've played with them. But a starting account, something that's brand new. You're not really looking to spend any money re-rolling. That was not the greatest time. <laughs> I mean, you could, but you'd only get, like, two rerolls out of it before it would be, um, you know, you'd have to retry. And 
One of the nice things is you get three guaranteed rerolls. So, yeah, three guaranteed rerolls. So, if you really wanted to, three guaranteed rerolls. You would only need to get one or two units to make the account worth starting. I might start anyway just to showcase this. Okay, here we go. We're we're at this one. And bear in mind, this is so easy because this this account's pretty old. I've been I've been working on this account for I think. Gosh, it feels like a month now. Regardless, let's finish this. <sighs> okay, let's see. I just love how much damage these guys do. Look, they don't compare to my Escanor and my um, uh, luck account. And once I actually get my... Ah, fuck. God damn it now. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I see. See, this is, this is why... Why why she's so amazing? Look at look at how much damage I'm gonna do right now. Check this out, check this out. Actually, uh, yeah, okay, okay. just just to do a little bit more damage. On a silver. Bear in mind she has all the star super awakened and like um she's I think like level seventy five or seventy. I haven't gone too far with this account, so I need to progress into the story to get to like level ninety. But I've been so lazy with that. See, on a silver, 200k. That's so sweet. There we go. We got that holy relic. Sweet. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go not there. We're going to go to her. She's right there. I, I'm actually surprised I managed to get her. I, I would actually, I'm not sure if I would recommend re-rolling to get her or re-rolling to get the other girl. Because, um, so there's new two new heroes, right? And from what I have understood, there's a couple of really good ones, right? Because I was like, scrolling through Reddit, so bear in mind, these aren't my original ideas. But this is some of my own observations as well. This is part of my own research. These are my opinions. Um, she's pretty cool because... Just straight off the bat, if you want to dumb it down, her unique, stupidly long. Like, stupid long. Um, and it seems to be revolving around unknown teams. Now, coincidentally, you get another unknown right here. And her her passive is broken because um, for every unknown that's with her, she gets, um, she gets to do uh, higher stats. And on top of that, she also... Um, receives uh like miniature power ups basically the more you play uh you're the more patient you are with her the um more damage she can deal at, at the right moment uh if you have to you can obviously use her before you stack up the whatever um the soul power because i think it stacks up to three um but to do a really big hit but are you going to be able to survive till that point there's no point in stacking up three hits if you can't even shoot them off. And some of the content here, it's really stupidly hard. So I'm kind of curious if she's going to be that good. Um, let's see. Anyways, she's pretty decent in that regard. Where she she's kind of she 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 hits hard. Am I fitted with her? Not bad. I would reroll for these two if you could. I haven't played with him, but from what I can tell, him, the shield hero combined with um, uh, the hunting hero, or no, not the hunting hero, um, there we go, Nifumi's sword is fucking broken, and I can kind of understand why, because the passive is kind of stupid, and then her holy weapon is even stupider, so that's kind of why I'm going to be wasting gems on this, like all of this just seems fun. That's why I would recommend it. But I don't have too many gems on this account, so that means I have to grind out this account now. 
Which, look, I was going to do so anyways. But at least now I have a goal, you know, kind of like getting to... Ooh, nah, God damn it! He's been following me everywhere for this review, for this one. He's my, um... Uh, the girl, the red girl, the the Megadalara or Megaladara, Megadara, whatever her name is, for this account, because I swear to God, but I got duped. That's not bad. I might need a duplicate of her. That's that's not terrible. Um, I saw there were some nice rewards. I need some hero coins as well, so we'll see how that goes. Um, when you get to 600, or I think that's 20 draws, that's 600 gems, um, you get to select a hero. Like I said, look, out of, um, just how long the passives are, I would go for the first two. These two, um, I'm not sure how good, good she is, the queen's successor. I did get her in an account, but I'm not sure, too, how good she is. She's fucking broken, hunting hero, she's fine. She's broken, she's completely broken. Everything else, I don't know. Somebody smarter than I will tell you better. Anyways. Hell, they might tell you not to draw anything, and I'm, I'm a complete idiot for doing so. Oh, if you want to get these... Uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm being so ditzy. I wanted to draw some, so I wanted to go draw some. I wanted to upgrade her, now I'm going to go upgrade her. Fuck, I need to focus. Jesus Christ, I have the attention span of a garden sink. And I didn't open the fucking box. I'm retarded. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I'm stupid. Oh, damn, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm dumb. No, 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 no. You can't be saying these stuff to yourself because that's not nice. Or something along those nice lines. Anyways, so here we are. We got this thing over here. Uh, I opened the chest I unlocked by getting uh, through the tower, through this, this, here, the uh, uh, the tower trials. I think you have to be past a certain point in the account. You can't just, like, start it off level one. You have to progress. That's why it sucks. Because you have to progress through a lot of the story to get through this crap. Anyways, moving on. Carrying forward. Um, you got that. For the unique uh, weapon, the holy weapon, we're gonna unlock our holy weapon now. Holy relic, pardon me, holy relic. God damn, I've been calling the holy weapon the entire fucking video. The holy relic, the holy relic, the holy relic, the holy relic. Okay. Uh, increases the hero's damage still with single target attacks by 15% for each sharp talent. Okay, there we go. So basically, it um, makes her uh, her passive go go much faster before she would only do one um debuff or one one buff at a time per attack but now every time she does uh any kind of movement she does two of those and then it gets a buff along with the uh passive it sounds like it's fairly powerful but i i haven't played enough with her to feel like it's really really hits hard see because i've seen her hit 200 k's which is not nothing right off the bat but at the same time I, i've got other characters to compare her to i just showed you a 200k like silver with my uh hail like is that more impressive than that quite honestly i don't think so so maybe i'm just being too picky because like on a, on a new account that's fucking broken it really really is and i, I can appreciate her passive especially because she synergizes well, well with hail so i get to keep both of them if i really like the combination anyways finally i'm gonna fucking level her up please forgive me i don't have the attention span of a score right now all right exchange materials there we go I have 14 of those, so a couple of those should be way more than enough. Lower. Alrighty. Take that back. That's, that's not usual. That's nice. Sweet. I keep coming back to that. Anyways, focus, focus, focus. Uh, Alrighty. 
shit, I should have let you know, see the thing. Oh well, I'm gonna go higher up. Alright, do I want to upgrade that? Applies sharp talent, increases the effect. She doesn't really need it, honestly. I don't see her needing it. That's what it does. It starts leveling up how much um, protection it does. It's not bad, but... Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna upgrade that. Alright, let's see. Do I... See, the reason I kind of stopped on this account is because I got frustrated with how difficult it was climbing through the story at certain points. Because I didn't have any real proper gear on this account. I was like jumping back and forth between find, trying to find like a good third uh, companion to them. Because I really couldn't get it quite right. But now, with this girl, I'm going to try to see if this works out. Let's see. Um... What do I want to test it? Okay, I can do it on this. This is how you get another, um... Uh, what do you call it? Let's just do the boss battle. This is how you get another holy weapon. You can do it on the exchange shop. I'm gonna try to go for the Book of Despair on the middle one, but honestly, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna make it, so... Let's hope for the best, and prepare for the worst. Now, let's work towards the best. Prepare for the worst. There we go. Let's take that. There we go. That's nicely set up. We're gonna. Oh shit. Now I remember this is a special battle. Who contributes as uniques? No filter race. Who's considered and who are my options? I don't want to take her. But I can take her. Look, to be honest, she she's useless to me at this point. But what I do like about her, for this experiment at least, is that she's going to sing herself. She's going to be able to stack up her um, passive really well. Everybody here is a unique. So this is play play paying playing into um her kit as favorably as well as favorably as possible and this is basically out of the box because i haven't added any anything up to her other than leveling up in her holy relic which i think is way more than enough let's see i want to i'm gonna give her an even better shot here i'm gonna add mail to her as an association yeah, he obviously gets her. She gets him for like no reason. He gets her. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get fucked up. Alright, let's give it a go. Okay, actually, I might not. I have a healer on the team. Let's pray it works. And it's not too difficult. It's really not. Skip. Sweet. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, see, so that's cool. She adds a passive, um, a defensive passive, which I'm not quite sure how much, how... Okay, ah, okay, this is fucking sweet. Look at that. That was beautiful. All right, but this is this is a positive towards hail, but whatever. Uh, offense is the best defense. So what we're going to do? We're gonna hit one. We're gonna hit two. We're gonna hit three, and we're going to hit four, just in case. Twenty-eight k. Kind of shitty, cool. 
22k kind of shitty. Cool. 49k. Yeah, eh, kind of shitty. Let's see. Look, it's not bad because I know how much damage I can really do, but I'm being unfair. Like, I'm literally having them fight, like, a really high-level monster. Most of the time, I couldn't get away with this shit. And it looks like I'm probably not going to, but... Let's see how far we can get. We're going to do one, two, three. There we go. Seven nine K interesting. God damn it, I'm trying to save up for you, but you're not showing up. Why aren't you showing up? Alright, whatever. Let's give it a shot. One, and... Yeah, so hopefully this will work, and if it doesn't, it is what it is. Goth is probably going to die on this run. I'm not sure about Hale. I'm not sure about her either, actually, but... This should be interesting. Too Really? It's not gonna do anything. Like, stop acting like you're going to die. I know you're not going to die. This is frustrating. The problem isn't that I brought the wrong amount of damage or brought the wrong fucking team. I need a stance counselor and a healer. What can I use? Let's see. Let me see Book of the Paranormal. See, the reason I don't, like, I don't like Book of the Paranormal is because what ends up happening is that the currency is really small, so. Unless I level them up pretty quickly next time, I'm not going to get too many. You only get five tries per day, so this is going to reset at 12. I'm obviously going to lose five tries if I don't do this right now. Anyways, the problem too is I was relying way too heavily on uh, Hale's passive. And that's not a good idea, as you clearly saw. Once her passive was unable to be used, it was kind of game over for me. We were able to put up a much better fight than I thought we would, but... It's out of sheer luck and nothing else. Maybe it's just a testament to the... To the character, though. Or the quality of the... Yeah, the quality of the character. And obviously this is much easier, I mean, I'm dumb. Also kind of helps that my, my helper on the right didn't die right away. You know what would be a good idea? A good idea would be to go ahead and actually, like, you know, 
Fucking add in a stance disabler to this team. Do I have anybody who can do that? That way I can get rid of that fucking reflection. Probably put on some equipment on the healer. I'm not uh, I'm gonna have to replace Hale. I don't need more DPS, I'm supposed to be checking her out, not, not Hale. Oh, what a perfect opportunity. I think. Uh, yeah, Shrek. Not the smartest idea. But it's one nonetheless. Alright, let's see. A gold on the normal dungeon. This is the debuff. With her thing on. A hundred and forty-eight K. Oh, fuck, okay. That's not bad. That's really not fucking bad. As you can see, that's broken. My character on the right. Oh, that feels broken, at least. Yeah, she's not even taking any kind of damage. She's like, nah, I'm built different. I'm her. Alright, let's see what... I mean, she, she powered off. That's the thing, too. You gotta constantly attack, otherwise she's not gonna do any damage. Two K is not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. <sighs> See, only fifty-five coins. You need a hundred coins for the fucking uh, what do you call it? The goddamn um, the holy relic. And you need to buy three things or ten things. No, no, you need to buy five things from the shop, and if you max them out with the with the minimum amount of coins, you're gonna be you're not gonna be able to buy anything. So should I even do this? No, we're not gonna do this right now. I'm going to exit this because it's not a good idea to do this right now. I'm just gonna waste some coins. I should be able to obtain a. Alright, see, so use special. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Uh, get the patrol. Let's do some cleanup. What we consider our next move. Um, there you go. There's a showcase, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, at least for that, you got to see her in action. She did. Quite a bit of damage for her. for her gold, and like I said, she's not upgraded at all. Consider that seriously. Consider that once you get um, awakened and then super awakened, it really makes you much more powerful. And then I'm telling you, these holy relics are practically free. You can get two from the uh, prize over here in the uh, special exchange shop. It's gonna be right down. You need to get her. Get Kazuya Kazuna Kizuna Kazayama Kizuna. Get her as soon as you can. She upgrades her own cards after she attacks with her holy weapon. I need to get her in my team. She's gonna be five hundred coins, and then this one's gonna be. Uh, holy Relic Material Box. This is going to be another Holy Weapon. So right now, I'm kind of considering... There's no need for me to do this at the moment. Because honestly, I need to get my current um, character up. Which means I need to, one, level her up. And I need to, two, level up the... Uh, awaken her. Now, how do I go about doing that? This guy should have enough materials at least I hope so yes yes we do beautiful 
That's nice. It's good to know that this works out. Um, in order to unlock this, you really have to progress, I think, to like chapter 115. So, good luck with that. I did it like four or five times. Why can't you? Alright, see, I awakened, and now I have a 95, 5, so I went up about 1k in attack, and 10k in defense, or, not defense, HP. Pretty good, and then we're gonna, we're gonna upgrade this. The main reason being is because it's gonna make this cheaper. There we go. Now we get a nice little upgrade of that super awakening. We need more, but we can work on that. This one doesn't have a proper. We did have a proper. I forgot I put that on her. Fuck. Hmm. I don't know if her damage should be considered good enough then. I completely forgot that she had the armor on. What if I level her up? I should be able to level her up. Yeah, I can... I can transmute that pretty easily. Actually, let's just do Fault Soggers. Can you use some uh, skip tokens? Yeah, I have enough. Alright, cool. Battle. Sorry if this is boring. Once, once I kind of go on a tangent, I have a tendency to forget. I feel like it's more fun that way. Sometimes, yeah, I have a goal. Other times, I just play. And I'd like to think I conveyed the information in a clear enough manner. I don't mean, no, if you don't like it, you don't have to listen. No. You can tell thanks for listening. I appreciate that you heard me ramble. <sighs> Alright, let's see. I don't know what to do. So I'm not crazy. I did do that for a reason. And it's to get the hero coins. That's gonna give me that gave me another ten. And hopefully Instead of having to transmit, I'm gonna get one of those, which if I do, is good, because I'm to get to level up my, uh, Futuria. <sighs> I really want to use, um, Demon Mail. I tried really hard to get the, uh, Meliodas, the Dark Meliodas, it did not work out. I guess I failed. Could not get it. I'll just buy it, I guess. Yeah, because it's a six star. Those shits are not cheap. Uh, do my dear shop events now. Do I have a lot of those over here? I might have to just end the video here because now that I think about it, just because I can. Anyways, uh, where was I? Uh, I might not have enough of the books to upgrade her, but... Yeah, because I only have eight, eight. I can't, I don't want to transmute them. Alright, fuck it. She's spending the night grinding it out for the, uh, dark book. Oh, uh, sure, that's how I fucking wasted them. Alright, she is what type? Yeah... I think she's, yep, we're spending the night 
brand new that the the blue. Fight so garish. Actually, let me just get this out of the fucking way. I've been so lazy. Use this as an excuse to ah uh, fuck. Hell mode. Ah uh, fuck. Have I unlocked it? Nah. See, this is why I hate the new accounts. I don't have the privilege, the old ones too. Actually, let's see how she would do in a boss battle. Yeah, let's try the slowest one. Yeah, let's try the lowest one with some of the most broken fucking heroes. You know, it's gonna go great for that poor little hero. It's not gonna go terrible at all. Oh god. I'm an old man. Okay, let's see. Uh, should we do auto? No, no, we should not. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do that. Just out of curiosity. Nice. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I forgot that was the easiest setting. Fuck. And I really, really put some thought into it, too. <laughs> oh, God. Thank God. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see. Now it's on extreme. Let's see if this works better. Let's try this again, take two, round two. One, two, three. Come on, I am lining this up for you. You better be dealing a bunch of damage. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 436k. That's not bad. That's a little more like it. I was getting worried there. I was like, is my judgment wrong? Did I misjudge this? Because I was thinking she'd make a really good partner to Mel. And it looks like she is. Especially because you got, she has that free fucking... um. Holy relic. It is broken. It speeds up her passive stupidly. So instead of like um, having to do two hits in order to activate her passive, you only do it in one hit. Which enables you to just, well, obliterate. And then her synergy with what's her face, male, is just insane. Alright, let's try this. Just two bronze. Queen's authority. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it did too. Good. 274k. That's not bad. 
293k on a single target debuff. It's kind of gnarly, ain't it? Bear in mind, she's incomplete as all. She's not even like maxed out. Let's see how she does on a on that thing. On the demonic match. <sighs> I'm so glad I'm making this video. Alright, let's see. Can I put you in here? No, she just blew. That means she's not gonna work here. Alright, I'll turn it in the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Be safe. Eat all your vegetables. God bless you. Take care. Bye.